And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Minnesota Twins. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. We're in store for a major league debut in this one, Singy. It remains to be seen what kind of career he'll have, but here's step one, and there's a lot of hope and optimism around him. This organization thinks he can be an impact player. And from what I've seen and heard from people that follow prospects really closely, I do too. We may not see him light the league on fire right from the start as there's usually a learning curve, but I think he has the skill set to be successful at this level for a long time. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get started and towing the slab in this one, Joe Ryan. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. Yeah, this guy's been real stingy, man. Not allowing guys to play the game, just keeping them at home played. I mean, just ridiculous. Someone with. I mean, he's dominating hitters. And a guy like this in the mound, one of the elite starters in the game right now. Tommy Eggy in the box now. No balls in a strike. Oh, one. Runner on the move. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results. Lately. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. No outs. Runners at first and third. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Ground ball could be two. To second for one. They complete the double play with a run scores. It's one nothing. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here. So that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. Here's Nolan Gorman. There's a strike, Ryan, 27 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2018. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one carry, and out of here. That one felt good. It's 2-0. He's going to the plate with a ton of confidence lately, and he's getting the results to back it up. No doubt, those two things feed off one another. There was a fastball down the middle. I don't think the hitter recognized the pitch, but once he did, was quick enough to get it in play with some authority. He got that up and out of here. So two down. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Right through there for a strike. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in here in game one of this three-game set. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. Hits and misses, it's a strikeout. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the car. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Austin Martin. And the pitch. Into center and a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. And next for Minnesota, Jose Miranda. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. There's a ball. Contreras throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal a base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. one. Ball, one they can break. live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Martin at second with nobody out.
And oh, another man. ball. And now the count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on deck circle. Outside, and that is ball four. Here's Alex Kirilov. A lot of clutch hitting from him recently. Over the last 10 games, he's knocked in 10 runs. That misses, and it's one to no. No outs, runners at first and second. And he chases a high fastball there. The high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. And he can't come up with it. No throw, and that's a tough time for an error. And here comes Carlos Correa. Right now, third in the American League in RBIs. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Squeezes it. Runner tags from third. The throw is outlined, and he's in the score. It's 2-1. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Two on, one out. Kyle Farmer up to the plate now. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Makes the grab. Runner tags it second, and he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to be extra careful in this Whoa, matchup. Here. Ball one, no strikes. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. In the air to left center, on the move to the gap. That is the inning. And we're back. Top of the second. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Fastball for a strike. For Joe Ryan, the journey is so interesting when you think of a guy who started his college career at Cal State Northridge and then ultimately transferred to a Division II school, Cal State Stanislaus. This one in the air center field. Martin going after it. And there's one down. So now here's the Cardinals' designated hitter, Mason Wynn. Right through there for a strike. There's a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. And here's the rookie center fielder. On the ground to the left, and that's just foul. Two out spaces empty. Swings and misses, and it's 0-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Got it by him for the count. Back in Minnesota, bottom of the second. And now for the Twins, Max Kepler. That Hold misses on, the no zone. Point. 1-0. and oh. And okay. delivers outside. Ball down the line. Makes his way towards it. Bounces over the wall and foul ground, and it's an automatic double. This is Willie Castro. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Sizes this one up. He makes the grab. Runner tags at second, and he's in safely at third with one out. So digging in, Matt Wallmer. 
Not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently. Barely hitting over the Mendoza line this month. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. The tag run is in to score from third. We are tied at two. Everything came together for him. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Back to the top of the lineup. Austin Martin digs in now. Singleton scored his first time. Double play ball to second. The underhand flip. Drops it, but they're saying it was on the transfer. Now back on. Jose Miranda, the next twin up to hit. Worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. Rudder takes off. Pitch in for a strike. Contreras throws. Third in time. It's a stolen base. Really nice swipe a second right there. He knew he had to get a really good jump on the pitcher because that catcher can make up some time. And such a good catch and throw guy behind the dish. Nice job right there, but he just beat it. Two outs. And that one hammered Doyle. Going back. Hits the fence. Throws to second. And he's out. But one run does score in the play before the inning ends. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. We play two full. It's the Twins three and the Cardinals two. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the right fielder, Brenton Doyle. That one finds the zone. Strike one. A big swing and a miss. The pitch. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. And his season of strikeouts continues with number 250. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when the two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And a strike. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Got him looking. That's a strike. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? Swing and a miss. The Redbirds down by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Set for the bottom of the third, and now the DH, Alex Kirilov. Fall off foul. And now the one. And that's outside. The lefty fires. Got him swinging. Here's Carlos Correa. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. That one the other way. And that's down a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. And here's the first baseman, Kyle Farmer. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And at first, one away. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And there's a ball. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. This one high in the air to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away now. And here's the catcher, Brian Jeffers. 
He's 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty. Nope. Out that. Well struck right field. That's back. And that one is off the wall. The relay throw. And he's out. out. Cut down and that ends the inning. No runs on two hits. No errors. And one left on base. On to inning number four. It's the all set for the start of the inning. Here's the third baseman. Nolan Arenado. Foul ball there. You know, these Cardinals, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Now one out to right. Kepler makes the play. One down. And next is the Cardinals' four-hitter, Nolan Gorman. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. The Twins up by a run, top half of inning number four. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Stays alive. One down, base is empty. He goes down looking. Well, we get the strike out there. What kind of stood out to me was that they weren't shying away from contact. Every single pitch was in the strike zone, and that tells me they wanted to attack him, and it paid off. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two down. No ball, two strikes. This one popped up. And that is that. One, two. And we're back. Bottom four. Now it's the right fielder, Max Kepler. Swing and a miss. Going one. Oh, one. Kepler, a former All-Star, 31 years old, and he was born in Germany. Next inside, pitch, one. inside. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball. Well, they just threw that two fastball strike. by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Two ball. Pitch two misses, strike. and it's two and two. Three. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, that slider was way out of the zone, and for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss as you did right there. Swing and a miss. And a count. One ball. One two. Two He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Walner stands in here. Oh, and tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Hey. Swings through that two. one for strike two. No ball, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Max and misses. It's a strikeout. Nothing to do. Back at target field, and here's Paul Goldschmidt. That's to third. And he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. You know, these cards just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a great part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And it's caught for the out. 
And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Win batting for the second time, and that's strike one. In the air, left side. Drifts towards it. Drops into the glove. And there's two away. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Kepler brings it in. And that... Back in Minnesota, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the center fielder, Austin Martin. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the catch for the out. Jose Miranda, the next twin up to hit. Swing and a miss. 0-1. I think he was sitting on speed there. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Here off. Right. The batter now as he swings Four and misses one. for strike one. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Wouldn't one chase more, that time. Break. And That's another bolted. ball. Hey. Way out front for strike two. <laughs> oh, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just gonna... hey. Now that's strike three and the third out. So. Ryan back to work. That one finds the zone. Strike one. And a swing and a miss there. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Now the left fielder. On the ground to third. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score. Right through there for a strike. Ooh, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. Could have a really good day out there in the ball. In the air, left field. And they get Edmund for the out. That's out number two. Here's Nolan Arenado. There's the strike. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And that should be extra bases. Headed for the plate. Relay throw home. He'll score the big time. It's 3 all. Gets it done to drive in the run and tie it back up. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Here's a big power threat. Nolan Gorman. Back to the mound. He's got it. That ends the He's inning. Up. And they limit the damage. Cards on the board with this double. We're tied now with three apiece. This is Twins Baseball on the show north. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now Correa up to hit. The pitch. That what? one misses. And that's ball one. Action in the St. Louis bullpen. Andrew Kittredge getting ready to go. Thompson also throwing. On the ground. And that's it goes crap. just foul. Correa 
the former first overall pick from Puerto Rico back in 2012 and he blossomed into the American League Rookie of the Year in 2015 the pitch and a foul ball a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any new pitcher on here. Lance Lynn. 32nd now appearance. Now. And now the first base. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Ford He muscles that one out of here. It's 5 3. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. pitch out of the bullpen a tough one and you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike and on the other side is a hitter it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly it's not what they were looking for when they turned to him but now he's got to find a way to reset next to hit Ryan Jeffers into center puts it away for the out one away Max Kepler at the plate one for two Strike one. Lynn, multi-time oh, all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a sinker, a slurb, and he works in a changeup. Oh, Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. On his way over. He makes the catch, and there's two down. So up next, Willie Castro. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Gets under it. Brings it in for the third out. But the Twins bring in two on the homer. It's now a 5-3 ball game. You're watching Minnesota Twins baseball on the show north. And we're back. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. That one fouled off. Ball no, one there. Ball. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. A little out front there as he swings through. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. One down, base is empty. Now fly ball to right center. Martin going after it. But it's the right fielder that gets there to make the catch. And there are two down. Smoked on the ground a second. Castro sends it to first. And that is that. Set for the last half of the seventh. And here is Matt Walmer. And a pitch. That's ball for a strike. Well, these twins, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? Aye. They've lost six hits at 90-plus no exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. 
and chase that time. That's out to center field. Moving in on this one. Makes a nice running catch. One up, one down. Here's the center fielder, Austin Martin. And that one fouled off. One out, base is empty. Next no one misses. Down. Ball one. That's down and in. And a pitch. Just oh, missed. Ground ball, left side, and foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Righty to the plate. That's towards center. Under this one. And makes the grab. Out number two. Two outs, space is empty. So up. Next for pitting. Rocco Baldelli making a move for a pinch hitter. Edouard Julien trying to get something going for him with two away. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Brings it in. And that's the inning. So remaining in the game defensively, Edouard Julien. He'll play third after coming into the game as a pinch hitter. Bounce to the left side. Sends it to first. First out in the top of the eighth. Brenton Doyle next up for the Cardinals. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Wait, that time it's strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Here's the left fielder. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Ground ball right side. Castro tosses to first. And that is the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the DH. Alex Kirilov. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. In position. Makes the catch. And there's one gone. Here's the shortstop at the play. Carlos Correa. Yeah, he swings and misses. And it's nothing at one. Wow. That's not even close to the zone. That one pushed foul. Base is empty one away. Here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. And there are two outs. Kyle Farmer, the next twin up to hit. Wouldn't chase that time. That one lifted to left. Settles underneath it. Makes the catch. And that is the... Th Back at target field. And the batter will be the shortstop. Tommy Edmond. That's in there. That's strike one. And he bunts. But that's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. That one drilled left field. One down. Here's Nolan Arenado. That's in there. It's over one. I mean, his pitch efficiency, really to get ahead and count. At times, pitch to contact, but the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. One down, base is empty. In the air, right side. And he makes the catch. And a couple of quick outs. And up next for St. Louis, Nolan Gorman. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. It's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank.